Hey guys, what's up? It is Ray here. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to a very special episode of my art channel show thing. And today guys, I am so beyond excited because today guys, I am going to do a collaboration with none other than Jackie, aka Nerdy Crafter here on YouTube. Uh, but before I can do that collaboration, I need to turn off my heater. I will be right back. In the meantime, enjoy Bowie. Hey Zach, can you turn off the heater? Can you turn off the AC or whatever's on? Thank you. Thanks. Now Jackie does a lot of like crafting videos. She does a lot of testing of craft kits. She's an amazing sculptor and all around guys. She has been such an amazing friend to me on YouTube. And so today I'm excited to be collaborating. So basically um, I had sent her something all the way to Canada and then she sent me something all the way from Canada all the way to New Mexico and I, neither of us know what it's gonna be. Now I'm not gonna tell you guys what I got her but let me just say it's good. And along with the mystery box, she has also sent me a little video clip. Like, I don't know if it's going to reveal what it is. I don't know what she says, but I don't know. We're about to find out. Hey, Ray, I've been so looking forward to this collab because I feel like we're doing this collab to annoy each other with really terrible craft items and, and art supplies. Hello there, fans of Ray. Uh, just uh, forgive me for annoying her because that's, that's what I do. I won't tell you what the item I got except for a small hint that it is from a really popular art supply company. But looking through the pictures of this product, yeah, oh I God. can tell, I can tell. Gold and terrible. I'm sure you'll be able to find all its messiness in all the glory. Have fun, don't hate me. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, I don't even know what it was. It looked like some kind of watercolor or something. And right off the bat, man, that does not look very nice. But it looked like there was some kind of like a binder or something that like left little dots in it. And by the way, guys, I have been with it when it comes to watercolor as of lately. So this is a great opportunity if you'd like to follow my art Instagram. Self promo. But anyway, let's let the saltiness commence. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> oh. Now I have had this package now for quite a while and it's long overdue. So I'm super excited to see what I got. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh God, what is this? Fizzy paint? What? What is this? Look inside, it's, uh, it says right here, add water, watch them fizz, mix new colors, paint and display uh oh boy <laughs> now this says eight and plus so it's not going to probably be like the best quality as far as like pigment goes so what we should compare it to is like something like crayola oh my god what is this monstrosity <laughs> what is this like i don't understand what is this honestly this is quite interesting we got the main primaries yellow red and blue we got a dropper, spray thing, and then I guess like all the stuff to mix it. Ooh. Now even though this doesn't look very promising, I'm gonna try my absolute best with this and I'm going to give it my all. Okay, let's see what we are working with. Okay, so it should be really easy. All, it, this literally works just like watercolor. Just like watercolor. Okay, so I guess we're gonna try out. Nah. Oh, shh. We're gonna try out the purple paint. So you mix it in there, and then from there you have to crush it up. <laughs> oh my God, this could not be simple for a child to do. So once you crush it up, you get a powder substance like a dish. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of water, purified, clean water. So supposedly what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put it in here and it's gonna start turning into watercolor. That sound is so satisfying. Oh my gosh. 
Oh duh, I don't know why I called this purple earlier. This is clearly, clearly red. And it's like a beautiful color of red. Okay, we'll just do some swatches. Oh no. First impressions. Um, that's actually a beautiful color. I am obsessed with this color. And honestly, compared to the reviews, this stuff does not look that bad. Oh god, my fake nail just popped off. <laughs> okay, so pour this in here. Oh, dude, look at all that extra stuff in there. Oh, I guess this is like the binder or something, but it's kind of stuck in there. Bill Nye the Science Guy. God, I feel like a medicine woman in the ancient world. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know how a kid is supposed to do that. The science Here are the swatches when they're all 100% completely dry and they're they're very like boom in your face kind of thing And if you look closely, I don't know if you guys can see that there is a little bit of residue on the colors Like right here for example, here's like a big residue So I'm not too sure if that's me or if that's just the color because I, I chopped it up really well, so I, I don't know now, it's safe to say that I personally have never worked with a palette that is so like BAM like in your face kind of thing and it reminded me a lot of this old video game called, from literally 2002, called Grand Theft Auto Vice City. The artwork is very like 1980s Miami kind of feel to it. The colors are really like bold and in your face and ugh, I just love it. And so today, the girl that I'm gonna be sketching is gonna be 100% inspired by the Grand Theft Auto artwork. Okay, so here is the final drawing sketch thing that I'm gonna work with. I mean, okay, it's not final. I still have a lot of stuff that I wanna kinda work with it. But like I said, my main goal here was just to like keep it snatchy, keep it like bitchy kinda thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I want some sassy kind of vibes too. Now since my color palette, let me actually, let me do this one last time because I don't trust myself. Now, I want this whole entire color palette to be super vibrant, super bright, like in your face kind of thing, you know? And even the clothes, they're very like 80s inspired. And I guess it's kind of difficult because like I am working with a limited palette. Like there's no brown to work with. So I have to make the browns. I have to make the colors, you know? So I have to be very care careful with my colors. And I have to be very careful with like choosing colors I want, colors I don't want. So honestly, like I don't really do challenges that often, but honestly, this feels like a really great exercise more than a challenge. It's, it feels nice. <laughs> now for the skin tone, I went through a lot of different like ideas of what I could do, how I could do it differently. And I came up with a variety of different colors. And I think I'm gonna end up using these two right here. Now for the hair, I, I want to do it super colorful and pretty, so I think I'm going to use that really bright pink color from earlier. Just kind of like get in there, you know?
Now for the background, uh, there's one color I haven't used at all, and that is the blue. And I think it's gonna collide, clash, I don't know what the word for that would be, but I think it's gonna go really well, like this bright blue with like the bright green, the bright pink, the skin tone, the green. It's all coming together so nicely. Now I don't know necessarily how well this palette would work for like an everyday kind of thing, but yeah, it's for kids, you know? I, when I was a kid, I loved, loved bright colors, so it's, it's, it's very fun. Of course, you know, the whole drawing can't come to life without some fine lining. Y'all guys know, I don't really do illustration that often, I don't really do pen that often, but when I do, adding in the pen fine lining is my favorite part. And don't get me wrong, it can be a little stressful, you know me, I'm a little shaky hand over here, so at any point in time, you know, I can mess up the fine lining, but honestly, it just adds such a beautiful dimension to the drawing, it adds such great details, and it just kind of like, really defines my illustrations. So now that we've added a little bit of extra details here and there, uh, I, I want to add a little bit to the background, that way it's not so meh. For the background, I'm just gonna do like a simple skyline with like some palm trees. Like I said, really reminiscent of eh, the original artwork. Now, what I'm about to say, I have to be really careful because YouTube can be very sensitive to the f human form. So for example, I put a piece of Michelangelo's work in one of my videos one time and it got demonetized. <laughs> it got demonetized so fast. So anyway, the reason I'm bringing that up is because the image that I have gotten inspiration from is a little risque. But as you can see, there's like palm trees in the background that are very like subtly there, as well as like the city. It's very subtle. And that's ultimately what I'm trying to do with the background. Like, ugh, it's just such a cool, cool thing. And yeah, here is the final color corrected image, the enhanced image. I am so happy with how it came out. And I, I, it wasn't a disaster. So thank you, Jackie, so much. Guys, go check out her channel and her video that she did. And yeah, I will see you guys next video. Bye. And the best part is, is that now I have like a little guacamole bowl so I can like crush up guac.